Welcome everyone to my channel. Today we have a challenge on the board. It's a radical equation. Very easy. The question says the cube root of x to the power of 3 plus 7 equal to x plus 1. What would be the possible value of x? But before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video because at online mass tv we drop new videos every day now let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time we take our solution so we have your solution solution well we put down the question the question reads the cube root of x to the power of 3 plus 7 equal to x plus 1. Now, having this radical here, what do we do to eliminate this radical? We take the cube of both sides of the equation. So if we take the cube of both sides, we're going to have here um, the cube root of x to the power of 3 plus 7 or to cube equal to our x plus 1 or to the power of 3. And of course, this cube, we take care of this cube root. And so here we are left with our x to the power of 3 plus 7 equal to our x plus 1 or to the power of 3. Good. Now, if we look at this, now we can use uh, the binomial expansion theorem to expand this. Okay. I want to believe you remember your Pascal triangle. Now, from our Pascal triangle, we have something like this. We have a one, the one, two, one, the one, three, three, one. So this will give us the coefficient, okay, to the third degree. And recall from our binomial expansion, it says that if we have x plus y r to the power of three, this will be equal to the first coefficient is going to give us one and it will be x to the power of 3. Then the second coefficient, which is 3, and that will give us 3x to the power of 2. Then y will come into the system. Then yeah, the next one, which is the third one, will be 3 again, but x to the power of 1, and y will be to the power of 2. The next one, which is 1 again, the coefficient, will now give us what? y to the power of 3. So if we succumb to this uh, binomial expansion, we can expand this side of the equation. And so our equation will give us here your x to the power of 3 plus 7 equal to, this is going to give us here x to the power of 3, then plus, what will be the next one? The coefficient is 3. So we will have here 3, dot which is multiplication our x to the power of two dot here we have one one okay the plus the next one is three again which is the coefficient the dot x to the power of one the dot one to the power of two the the next one is your one to the power of three Okay, so let's go ahead to simplify this. So we have here s to the power of 3 plus 7 on the left hand side equal to our s to the power of 3 plus you're going to have 3x to the power of 2 plus you're going to have 3x plus 1. Very easy. Okay, now from here again, we look at this. Here we are having s to the power of 3, we are having s to the to the power of 3. So if we send this to this side, it's going to give us x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 3. In other words, this, we go with this. Okay, then we are left with what we have here now. Let's write what we have left here. So we have here left 7 equal to 3x to the power of 2 plus 3x plus 1. We can collect our light terms here now. Okay, so if we rearrange, this will imply your 3x to the power of 2 plus your 3x plus 
1 minus 7 equal to 0. Let's continue on this other side of the bird. Okay. So let's continue. So from here, your plus 1 minus 7 will give us minus 6. So we have our equation to be your 3x to the power of 2 there plus your 3x is 3x plus there minus 6 equal to 0. Of course, this is a quadratic equation. But before we look at it quadratically, you discover 3 is common here, 3 is common here, 3 is common here. So we can divide through by 3. And if we divide through by 3, we're going to have this to be x to the power of 2 plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Now we can solve quadratically. We can use the factorization method to solve this. Using the factorization method to solve this, we look for two numbers that when added, we give us um plus x then when multiplied together to give us minus two of course the two number will give us here yeah, uh plus two and minus one so we put in plus two and minus one into this so we have here x to the power of two okay there plus two x there minus um one which is minus x minus two equal to zero at this point, we can put this in bracket. Now, put this, put this, this, and this in bracket. We look out for the terms that are common to the first bracket and terms that are common to the second bracket. So here we have x is common here. So we'll bring out x, bracket, x into this x square, we're left with x. Then x into our 2x, we're left with 2, close bracket, minus. What is common to x and 2 here is just 1, so we pull down 1 bracket, 1 into x will give us our s, then minus times minus will give us plus, and here we have 2, everything equal to 0. Since the terms we have inside the first bracket and the second bracket are the same, then we take one of them, so we're going to have the first one, which is your x minus 1, this and this that are outside bracket, our x plus 2, close bracket, equal to 0. Easy. Okay. Now, yeah, let's look up to the, um, as the zero product rule. Okay. So, if we succumb to the zero product rule, then we're going to have this equal to 0, this equal to 0. And so, I can go ahead to express this. Our, so, our x minus 1 equal to 0, or x plus 2 equal to 0. So, collecting your lightness, we have here x, equal to positive 1 or our x equal to negative 2. Therefore, our x is equal to 1 or negative 2. So these are the two possible values for rs, q, e, g. Now, if you put these two values into our equation, which is this, you will discover that it will give us the correct answer. But at the same time, if you're not sure of it, let's check for the positive one, or let's check for the answers to know if they are correct or not. So let's take our check. Okay, let's check here. So check, check. All right, so let's put down our equation. The equation is uh, the Q, root of x to the power of 3 plus 7 equal to x plus 1. So we take case 1 when x, we have x equal to 1. So wherever we see s, let's put in 1 there. So we're going to have here to be the cube root of your 1 to the power of 3 plus 7 equal to 1 plus 1. 1 to the power of 3 will give us 1. So we have here cube root of 1 plus 7 equal to 2. So the inside will give us here cube root of um, 8 equal to 2. What is the cube root of 8? It's 2, which is equal to 2. So it shows that the first one is correct. But let's check the negative. Uh, if it is correct, so for case 2, so our case 2, is 2 
So we have x equal to minus 2. So let's put down our equation again. Then s to the power of 3 plus 7 equal to s plus 1. So we have here the cube root of minus 2 all to the power of 3 plus 7 equal to minus 2 plus 1. So we have the cube root again of the minus 2 to the power of 3 will give us minus 8 plus 7. Okay, then this is equal to what we have here is going to give us a minus 1. So minus 8 plus 7 will give us here the cube root of minus 1, which is equal to minus 1. The cube root of minus 1 will give us minus 1. So we're going to have this minus 1 equal to minus 1. So this is also correct. Okay, so we have checked from the uh, two roots we got from the uh, solution to be correct okay so if you have learned something good from this simple challenge give the video a thumbs up do not forget to share with family and friends members who need this knowledge if you've not subscribed do well to subscribe because at online mass tv we drop new videos every day for your learning for your fun okay remember i love you so much and all of us at online mass tv love you so much my name remains jigs anymore i guess your best tutor Bye for now.